Hi, it's Lisa Cuneo, and welcome to my scrapbook table. This is for day 29 of Christie's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches. Today's sketch is by Laura Wiffler of Cactus Crew Scrapbooking. As you might be able to hear, I am not at home right now. I am on the deck of a ship somewhere north of the Bahamas. And this is the only place quiet enough I could find to record because in my stateroom, I don't have enough service. So I am doing some pictures, winter pictures from my classroom. And since this was my last year to be a full-time teacher, as far as I know, I made a point to take some pictures of things that I will help me remember things from my classroom. So I have some Hero Arts ombre ink that I'm inking up the edges of these papers with. These papers are mostly Echo Park and um, I think that's it. I think they're all Echo Park. They came from my box of winter Christmas themed papers that are all together. And I used Laura's sketch, but I took the the right hand page and I flipped it upside down so that my border is going all across the bottom instead of having half my border at the top and half at the bottom. So I have some mugs of cocoa along there and some snowmen and I love that diagonal stripe. I have a couple three by four cards and I have some photos of Coco and snowmen because that's what this page is about. I usually after Thanksgiving I put um, snowmen up in my classroom because it's not exactly Christmassy but it's wintry and I can leave them out until say the end of February early March and feel like they they fit the time of year here in Ohio. So I decided to use another 3x4 card because I wanted a touch of red there with the snowman. The snowman quilt hanging is something my mom made me. And the other snowman I just picked up at random from places. And then I have a mug. Christmas mug that one of my students gave me last year. So Christmas 2021. He's graduated and on his own now. But I love that mug and I think of Jack every time I use it. And I have these little banners that I trimmed out and so I have there um, the sheet where I have colors um, stamped from my oxide inks trying to decide what color to use. I know I use speckled egg. I'm not sure what other color I chose. Maybe chipped sapphire. Looking at it from here on the screen. So I went through my stencils and I thought of using a new one or two that I have, especially this Simple Stories one, but I ended up going with one that I've used many times before. It's just one of my favorites that I often go back to. And there it is. I don't know what it's called. I don't know who it's from. I apologize for the ocean noise in the background, but for me, there's nothing better to listen to than an ocean. So I use these two inks to create some texture along the top of my page where those little banner pieces are going to go. I just use some brushes. I'm not looking for good coverage here. I just want some color. And I have a scrap there to blot off the ink at the beginning to try not to end up with splotches. 
I don't think I have you watch all of this. I'm pretty sure I trimmed quite a bit of it out. Let's hope so. There I bring in that darker color. And I just want a tiny bit of that in a few random places. And I am pleased with how this turned out. It shows up a lot better in person than on the screen. And there you can see that finished across the top. And now I'm gluing on those little banner pieces. Or maybe right now I'm just deciding where I want them. There's my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive. Putting some bits of glue on there. And I used some clear blocks to hold it in place while I glued the other side. I really like these little banners, but by the time I was done trimming them out, I wondered why in the world I chose to do that. They took quite a while. But they do look nice. This layout makes layout number 50, I'm sorry, page number 50 for 2023. I keep a tally on my desk. I'm not sure what I'm doing right now. Oh, here's where I realized I had shown my students' faces. So I'm punching little half-inch half circles from a post-it note and covering those up, and I will have to go back and blur them out from the beginning of the video. And now I pull out my chipboard stickers from this Echo Park collection. And I find some that have to do with the cold and snow and hot cocoa. The picture with my students is um, I took in hot cocoa for them one day right before winter break and everybody could have hot cocoa. I decided I needed to fill in that what I felt like was a big gap above the, the two cups on the right. And then I realized, well, I already have that dark blue over there. So in a minute here, you're going to see that I take a strip of the snowman, which has a lighter blue background, and I cover the dark background with that because it looks better. And now just on a, an acrylic block, I'm pulling off some word phrases and stickers that fit my theme that I think I will use. And usually I have my layout right in front of me while I'm doing my voiceover and I can tell you exactly what those phrases say. I can't do that this time. I know there's one that has a snowman. I know one that says burr or it's cold or something like that. And then that's cocoa weather, if I remember right. I pull out my bin of strings and decide what I want to use to put some string on that tag. This red and white twine is really old twine from Stampin' Up. It's probably over a decade old. find that the chipboard sticks real well so I always add a little liquid glue to that and in order to make this a little bit more title worthy 
I pulled out a snowflake, gorgeous silver snowflake, that came from Paula Rieger in a swap I was in quite a while ago. And I ended, using, ended up using several snowflake items from her from that swap. So thank you, Paula. And there's another little strip of snowflakes that went with that. And I think this is where I decide, mm, yeah, I need the lighter blue. I'm just using a Hero Arts ombre ink pad to go ahead and ink those edges. And there it goes. And the snowflakes go on top of that. And again, I use the one more piece of those snowflakes that I have to balance that out. Have some on the right. I added a chipboard sticker. And I'm trimming down the picture of my students. I must be trimming the mat around them. I must have felt like that was uneven. Which it's probably still uneven. I'm not I'm not great at that. I finally glue that picture down. And now I add some word stickers. These snowmen are packed away for now, but I think I'll pull them out and put them in my scrapbook room next Christmas. I debate where to put the little snowman. He ends up going there. I look through my chipboard one more time. And I'm all over where to put this piece. And I ended up putting it here because I like the way it kind of breaks up the, the distance between that taller picture and then the shorter row of pictures on the right. I don't know why, but somehow that made more sense in my brain. Now I think about my title. And these letter stickers were part of that same Echo Park collection. And I ended up using some of the tile stickers, the little ones, and some of the larger blue ones. And the title ends up reading The Snowmen of Room 93 because my classroom was Room 93. But again, I don't make you watch all of this. There we go. The Snowmen of Room 93. And even though my students are high school kids, they still like holiday decorations in our classroom. I think the next thing I do is cover up some pictures so that I can add some splatter. And I do that with a close to my heart sapphire sparkle pen. So pretty. You won't be able to see it much on camera, but it really is pretty and adds, adds a nice touch.
There we go. I need to use these more often. I think I have two of them, but I don't use them very much. Maybe this will remind me that I need to do that more. I did go ahead and add some journaling just about my classroom and I did name my three students there. I also pull out some enamel dots. I like it that they went with this collection because I know they match. I don't even have to think about it. Just have to decide where to put them, what sizes I want. So thank you to Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life for hosting this series. This is the first time I really played along and um, I kind of got waylaid in the middle of the month but I rec um, filmed this layout right before I left for vacation and I wanted to get it up on the right day so I'm glad that worked out. Should be getting to the end of the enamel dots and there are some still shots coming up And I'm just deciding which journaling pen to use. It's from Creative Memories. And that's what I write with. Here's some still shots. Thanks for joining me. Bye.